Hello and welcome back to Python and today we are gonna look at a package which centers around strings again but uh, this uncommon package has an uncommon name which sounds uncommon and the uncommon name of this uncommon package is Fuzzy Wuzzy so for installing it you have to use pip install fuzzy wuzzy or if you are using an IDE like uh, PyCharm, in PyCharm you can just call, uh, simply type import fuzzy wuzzy and you can if you yeah, move your cursor above fuzzy wuzzy you can install fuzzy wuzzy and it is installed and now we can import from from fuzzy wuzzy import fuzz perfect now let's look at what fuzzy wuzzy or more specific fuzz does with our strings so fuzzy wuzzy is about a prop, uh, approximate string matching another word which is really hard to pronounce if you're not a native speaker so example we have our word apple which we are just def defining which S1 and S2 is Pebble. Now we can kind of print the similarity between Apple and Pebble. We are printing fuzz point but bef based on the fact that we are that we already have here yeah, imported it fuzz point ratio and as an input we can see we have two strings which is S1 and S2 and while printing it we get this warning so if we want to get rid of this warning we yes have to pip install python Levenstein or because we are using an IDE we just type python Levens don't exactly know what, why he's not finding it. Ah, install and import package. Yes. Here we go. And yes, we don't need, need that anymore, but the warning is no longer there. So of course if we want uh, using pip, we are just using pip install python dash leven stein which is really strangely written but it's according to the Levenstein algorithm which yeah, is an algorithm to detect if uh, which similarity two strings have and yes it's uh, you can maybe google it on wikipedia there's uh, an awesome article about it and I just guess he's using this algorithm for the fuzz, fuzz ratio. So why is he returning 29? It's simple the fact that he is using percentage. For example, if we are ran adding random strings, he is typing 40 because yeah, the similarity is decreased. Now we are adding just the letter O. And yeah, the similarity is will decrease even more. And if we compare an O with a B, the similarity will be zero because a B and a, an O have nothing in common. So if we have a sequence, for example, what we are using now is A equals hmm, what are you using? Window color. And now we have our list, a list, which equals window, window, one, two, three, four, three, a stupid spider with an even more stupid name, and 
Hello Kitty Imposter who is a dog. Now we have this list and what we are uh, gonna want to do is we are want to iterate through this list and yeah finding the um, max amount of similarity percentage in that list with our word window color. So we, what we want to print, we want to print max because max gives us the maximum value out of the list but we can define a lambda function which will yeah ha which will have or which will gives us an integer value and the element with the highest value according to this lambda function will be the max value so for example first of all we have our list which is the first input then the second input is our lambda function lambda x and yes now we have the fast point ratio of a and window color window col color and here yeah, the variable which we assign the lambda function is a key and now if we print max I must have made a mistake which is freaking obvious because we are using a list and here we are using x as an argument yes and now he prints us the not the value I'm sorry I mean the string which is mostly similar to our window color which is of course window so if we add window C no. oh no this is window X I mean window C not window X yeah window C will be our new match so next of all we want to print the partial ratio partial ratio so we have our ratio function and now we will use a pa partial ratio function or partial ratio function <laughs> so b is again window and now we are printing fast partial ratio ratio i hate to pronounce it partial ratio from A and B and that is 100 because now he is comparing B and A but is also co uh, comparing substrings of um, so he is um, kind of looking at the smaller string as a possible substring and then he discovers oh window is already in window color so he gives a similarity of 100%. The same rule goes for win. As you see, 100 or color. And window color is awesome. Will give us also 100% because now window color is a substring of window color is awesome. Pretty self explaining. So that's probably it. If you want another video of a similar topic, we can also discuss in, a, in another video the processing mechanic, and which is also part of the fuzzy wuzzy package. Yes, I hope you liked the video. It was a little bit strange compared to other videos, but I hope you, yeah, had fun hearing me fail in pronouncing certain yeah, terms but I hope this adds some entertainment value to my videos hope you had a great uh, time while watching this video have a nice evening dinner time morning time breakfast time night time whatever time it is in your country see you bye bye